Hey everyone, it's Rob with Passport to the Parks, and today is Thursday, October 25th, and I am at Disney's Pop Century Resort. Uh, we're going to do a walkthrough today. We're going to take a look at all the cool centuries that are here. Uh, decades? No. Decades, yeah. Not centuries. Uh, they have different decades here, starting from uh, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. It's a very cool place, very fun place. Uh, I get a lot of requests, actually, to, to come here to uh, do a full walk around so you guys can check it out. A lot of people love to come down here and stay. Hey Jamie, good morning, thank you so much for joining. Uh, we are gonna take a few minutes here and just wait for some more people to get on uh, before we start our resort tour. Uh, if you would, uh, definitely check out PassportToTheParks.com it's where you can find all kinds of great information that I post about uh, the resorts, the parks, uh, all the cool stuff that's happening at Disney, stuff that's coming, uh, a lot of cool pictures, videos, uh, articles, you name it. All the social media is there. If you want to uh, follow me in any other uh, direction, uh, especially on YouTube, uh, if you can head over there, if you haven't subscribed there yet, I do appreciate that. That always helps to support everything that I'm doing here. Uh, definitely leave some likes, comments, all that great stuff. I'll try to answer questions and talk to you guys as much as I can. Uh, let's see, who else is joining us here? Hey, Margie, good morning. Hi. Jacob, good morning. Brandon, good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Kara, good morning from Epcot. Wanted to say hello. i uh, watch you on YouTube later. Awesome. Hope you're enjoying Epcot. Uh, it's a little overcast today. Hopefully the clouds are going to pass over. It's We're out of our uh, potential rainy season here, so I'm hoping that I'm going to beat some of the rain for you guys. Good morning. Uh, Melanie from Scotland. I get all kinds of Scotland people watching. I love it. Uh, UK as well. Uh, hey, Tammy. Thank you so much for being here. Bridget, welcome. Uh, let's see, much love from rainy New Orleans. Yeah, I think some of the south is just going to get hit with some more rain here, unfortunately. I'm going to try to beat the rain <coughs> as I'm uh, waiting. Terry, good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Just going to wait a, a little bit longer here to get a few more people on. Uh, I asked you to check out PassportToTheParks.com. I always appreciate that. But also check out my friends at uh, Living With The Magic Vacations. If you are planning a vacation down here, they can always help you. Uh, to plan the best vacation, get you all kinds of great deals. I know they have a lot of cool stuff coming up in March, a lot of great deals. Uh, you can find them at livingwiththemagic.com. Really awesome people. Get in touch with them. Uh, you'll be glad that you did. Hey, Michael, thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's see, who did I miss? Uh, Jamie, uh, going to be here in four weeks. Awesome. Welcome. Michael, uh, glad you caught this. Uh, staying there the first week of December. Awesome. It's a great place to be. We're going to have a lot of fun going through here today. Terry from the UK. Love it. Heather, hey from Nebraska. Thank you so much for being here. Sorry, you guys are coming in really quick here. Brandon, uh, it's 45 in Elyria. Ugh, that's a bummer. It's definitely not 45 degrees here. It's beautiful here. Just a little overcast. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Julie, uh, first visit uh, to Pop in December. That's so awesome. It's such a great resort. Uh, Juan, yay, Pop Century. Awesome. Glad you guys are going to enjoy this today. Uh, let's see, Bridget. I see uh, I'm at one of your favorite resorts, Pop. Coming in fall of 2019. That's so cool. All right, I'm going to get you guys turned around here. So you're tired of looking at my face. We actually want to look at some cool stuff. Hey, May, Angela. Thank you so much for being here. No problem. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, let's see. We're going to start with. Uh, I'm at the uh, the front. I'm at Classic Hall at Pop Century, and this is where the bus stops are. There's one stop here at Pop Century, and you can reach all of your parks, Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, Disney Springs. They all run from the, the front bus stops here. Very similar to the Art of Animation. They're, they're almost like sister resorts. So what you're going to find here is going to be exactly the same over at the Art of Animation. Your bus stops will be up in the front. And there's actually a bridge that connects the two, the two resorts here. So... Um, we'll get to that once we get towards the uh, the back of the park. Hey, Mark, thank you so much for joining. Uh, is it Carrie Ann? Thank you so much for being here. Uh, checking in to Pop a week from Monday. That is awesome. I, I knew a lot of you guys stay at Pop. It's a very popular resort. Get it, Pop, Euler Resort. <laughs> so I definitely wanted to come here and uh, share this with you guys, get you guys excited. So like I said, they got these really cool uh, uh, sort of monuments out here, I guess, for the, the 50s. The 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. They do have the different decades here, so we'll we'll walk through them all. I'm going to get going here so we can get a move on. Like I said, try to beat this rain. Hey, Darren, thanks so much for being here. Alberto, thank you for uh, 
being here. I appreciate it. May Angela stayed here three years ago with your granddaughter, seventh birthday. Love it. That's so awesome. I'm glad you loved it. It's such a great resort to be at. Bridget, can't wait to take the, the gondolas from Pop. Me too. I am so looking forward to the Skyliner. You can't even, uh, can't imagine. So right now we're coming into Classic Hall. Very cool lobby area. Uh, just over to the right here is the main check-in area. They got some really cool memorabilia on the walls from the different decades. So basically everything that has to do with 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s, you would come through here and you would find. Like you see over here, this is uh, probably the 90s here. We got the, uh, the Dreamcast, you got Power Rangers, Pocahontas, very popular in the 90s. Uh, not really too busy here today. There's a little bit of a line, but not too bad. You got your 80s, of course, Michael Jackson, a lot of your 80s music, Circus Magazine, how great is that? I won't go all the way down here because I know we want to see the resort itself, but you get the idea. There's just a lot of cool stuff you can come through the lobby and look at. 70s, got a lot of the disco. Uh, your big wheel up there, that's really awesome. Hey, Erica, thanks for being here. 17 days until your fifth stay here. Wow, that's awesome. You're an old pro at this, so that's cool. And, of course, the, uh, the check-in area all has the different decades as well, so you can go to... 70s, 80s, 60s, 50s, whatever you're most comfortable with. Try to get in there. Something for everybody here. You have everything pop. This is your shopping and dining area. And I will say that I really, really love the quick service food here. It's really delicious. I come here with my family a lot just to have lunch. They got really great pastas, burgers. Um, you can see the uh, open flame over there. We'll get to it here in a second. Really great pizzas, desserts. Uh, nice little shopping area. Of course, they have a lot of Halloween stuff out now. Cool uh, resort-themed items. You know, basically stuff you're going to find in all the different resorts. Just a lot of fun through here. I won't go into too much detail. Just give you sort of a general overview. You can always find your snacks. Uh, they do have cold drinks and stuff in here. Got your done. Everybody needs one of these for their car, of course. Hey, Rose, thank you for being here. Carol, thank you for being here. You guys love Pop Century, so do I. Jamie, uh, thank you so much for being here. Some of our magic bands come today, and the rest come Saturday. That's so exciting. I love that. That anticipation of getting all your Disney stuff to come to Disney, your magic bands especially. That's always fun. So you got a lot of open dining space in here, a lot of room. It's nice and cool in here. It's a great place to uh, have your meal before you head to the parks, after you get back, whatever you want to do. So it's an all open area. You just basically pick the style of food that you want. Like I said, they have uh, create your own salads, uh, Mickey waffles, some desserts over here. You have uh, your burgers, a blackened mahi sandwich, chicken nuggets, barbecue pork sandwich. A lot of fresh baked goods back here. And they're always staying in theme back here. You can see all the different uh, sayings from the different um, uh, decades, like awesome, rockin', dude, groovy, all that stuff. Got cold drinks back through here. I'm going to shut this so we don't waste some energy. Always try to be helpful. Like I said, it's not too busy here today. This is considered uh, some of uh, the downtime for Disney once you get into these fall months, uh, September, October, even uh, beginning of November. Then once you start getting towards the holiday season, it will start to pick up. Karen, thank you so much for being here. Maria, thank you for being here. Uh, Karen coming back in July of 2019, staying at Pop for nine days. That's going to be a sweet trip for you. I know it. Jamie, 55 days until I see it again in person. So cool. That 55 days will go by quick, I promise. So let's head uh, outside. We'll get a general idea of kind of where we're at. So I just left out through the Everything Pop door. You have your, uh, your main entrance door over here as well. 
So basically in the center of property, you're going to have your main pool area, which is the 60s. And then it sort of branches around from there. You have the 50s straight ahead. You have the 60s. Uh, I don't know if they have a map up here. Let me see if I can... I always like to find a map so we can get a general idea of what we're doing. I don't see one here. Ah, I see it down there. So we'll, we'll head down there in a second. So you can see the uh, bowling pins over there. That's the 50s, 60s, uh, 70s is to the back, 80s and 90s over to the left. But we'll take a quick look at a map here. You have the pedals, little lounge area here, really great specialty drinks. Just a really fun pool area here. Completely based on the 60s, flower power, love, peace, all that stuff. You see Baloo and Mowgli back there. I want to let these guys uh, do their things. We'll take a quick look at the pool before we look at the map. There's somebody trying to figure out where they're at. So really great pool area, huge pool. Very bright, very colorful. Awesome Play-Doh over there. Who doesn't love Play-Doh? Very 60s. Angela coming in 149 days. Missed my home away from home. I know, this is the home to everybody. Wish you guys could be here right now. Cindy, uh, hello, enjoy my vacay. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Wish you could be here. Uh, let's see, Carol. I was uh, just t talking to my TA about uh, booking Disney this morning for my son's 15th birthday. That's so cool. Uh, happy early birthday to him. I hope he has an awesome time. You can always uh, check out livingwiththemagic.com, Living With The Magic Vacations, if you want to get a really good deal on your vacation. Uh, let's see, Jackie and Jake, 30 more days until you're here for your first visit to Pop. Wow. Your first visit. That's going to be so cool. I hope uh, you get a good idea of what it's going to be like when you're here. Again, I'm just trying to get over to the map here, so I'm just going to kill a little bit of time with you guys and try to catch up on some comments. Kelly, uh, oh, you're here at the pool now. Wow. Well, if you see me, you can come up and say hello. I'd love that. That's so cool. I hope you're enjoying your stay here. Erica, you're here in 30 days. Richard, uh, what is the weather like? Well, I'll show you. It is a little overcast. Uh, hopefully, this is going to move through pretty quickly. Uh, still a beautiful day. Still, the sun is peeking through the clouds. Uh, just really nice. It's probably maybe in the high 70s today. Really not too bad. Just a beautiful day. A little bit of a breeze. You can see the uh, classic hall behind me here with the giant pop. Well, I think, uh, I think they're really taking up a lot of map time here, so we're just going to move on. Um, like I said, basically, it's set up fairly easy. We're going to start over in the 50s. And we'll work our way around. Definitely want to check out the pedals. A uh, little bar area while you're here. Lots of fun drinks. You have a nice restroom area here right by the pool. In case you have to do your business. Little ping pong table here. Some kids having some good fun. Lots of great children's activities. Patty, uh, thank you so much for being here. Wow, we'll be at Pop for the first time next Thursday. You guys are really, really coming quick. That's awesome. Can't wait for you guys to get here. You're going to love it. Megan, uh, you miss being home. I know, it's very tough when you're not here. That's why I love doing these walk-arounds with you guys. So when you're not here, you can always share the magic and feel like you're here. That's, that's exactly what I'm trying to do to try to bring you guys. Here we go. Here's an open map that we can use real quick. I always just like to give you the general overview of what we're looking at. So we started up here in... Uh, uh, no, I forget what it is now. <laughs> Classic Hall, I'm sorry. Uh, and then we walked right out into the 60s. Here's the main pool area that we just saw. Uh, right now we're going to head over to the 50s, which is here. And it just kind of circles around 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Very simple resort. Uh, it is rather large, but it's not overwhelming. You know, you can walk from one end to the other in probably less than 10 minutes. Uh, we're going to take our time going around, though. Megan! I uh, was just there in June. Thank you for doing this walk around. You are very welcome. I hope you enjoy it. 
I hope I can try to answer any questions for you guys. Uh, one of the big things is Pop did recently go under a full renovation as far as rooms. Uh, all of the rooms are now complete. They are beautiful on the inside. I actually did a room tour of one of the renovated rooms. So definitely check that out. You can find it at PassportToTheParks.com or over on the YouTube channel if you want to see what the renovated rooms look like. But they are all done, so if you book a room here, you will certainly get a beautiful renovated room. All of the doors do face outward. It is considered kind of a kind of an upper level value resort. But you do get a lot of great features here. Like I said, the the food court is delicious, the quick service. Um, oh, you know what I didn't show you in there was the arcade. I think that Pop Century has the best arcade out of all the different resorts. And before I go, uh, I'll show you why. Got a giant tramp here. Of course, we're in the 50s. Lady in the Tramp is very popular. Rock and roll, bebop, all the cool uh, different phrases up on the top here. A lot of sock hop dancing. You do have Lady on the other side, kind of blocked by some trees. So you get a good idea of what she looks like there. Aaron, you love the room, the new rooms. So do I. I think they really did a nice job with them. Jimmy Genie, Gilbert, uh, I posted and you answered immediately. Well, thank you so much. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad I got back to you, and hopefully I gave you an answer that you were happy with. Hey, Niki, welcome. Uh, stayed there in March. Such an awesome resort, a lot of fun. This uh, is actually shaped like a giant bowling pin here, so it's a lot of fun. You got the uh, jukebox back there. And I love the uh, the little pool, the bathroom area back there, because it's like your uh, your bowling shoes, basically. So just a lot of fun. Here's some Elvis in the background. They're going to have different theming, themed music for uh, all the different resorts that we go through. Disney is always awesome about their theming, so wherever they want you to be and however they want you to feel, they're very good about um, portraying that for you through music through landscaping, through colors, through emotions, through everything that you can figure out. Disney Disney is always one step ahead of you to give you that feeling of taking you out of the real world and pushing, putting you into the Disney world. I think that's what I love most, is that you can leave all of your worries, your cares, on the outside, and once you're in Disney world, you become part of their magic and part of their vision, part of their fantasy, so... It's a lot of fun. So we are going to backtrack just a little bit here because we did start uh, to take a look at the pool a little bit over in the 60s. But we did the 50s, so obviously next in line will be the 60s. So we're going to head back around here. Sorry if I'm uh, missing some of your comments here. I'll try to catch up as I go along. Jimmy and Jeannie stayed at Pop uh, three different occasions and was fun each time. Yeah, I never really hear a bad, bad review about Pop. I think everybody does genuinely have a great time when they're here. It's just a fun resort. You're always going to have great cast members. You're always going to have a lot of fun at any of the resorts that you go to. Some just have, you know, different ways of uh, dealing with things. Some you know, have different events for guests, and some go a little more and above and beyond. But all the Disney resorts and all the cast members are there for one thing, and that's to make your trip the best that it can possibly be. And from what I see and from what I always experience, that's uh, that's never been a problem for me. So I always, always, always try to thank cast members and make them uh, realize what a great job they do because they have a hard job. You know, as funny as you may think it is to work down here, it's hot. You know, you're dealing with people, you're dealing with guests, you're dealing with a lot of money coming through here, and you have to make sure that you're always, always, always taking care of the guests, and that could be a difficult thing, especially when it's 100 degrees outside and 
you know, there's a lot of issues and problems going on. So, so take care of your cast members as much as they take care of you. Uh, show that in kind. Sorry, it is very sunny out here, so it's kind of hard for me to see some of the comments. I'll try to scoot back here a little bit through them. I'll show a little bit of the pool. I don't like to, to really walk through the pool areas too much because, you know, I, I kind of think it's a privacy thing. You know, people don't want cameras walking around and staring them in the face when they're trying to lounge by the pool. Here is the giant Play-Doh right in the center. Of course, you have uh, Baloo and Mowgli. All the flower power through here. Nice little kiddie pool area. Pretty much all the resorts are going to have an area set up for the kiddies. Of course, Disney World is definitely about children, but Walt always had the vision that he wanted a place for parents to come and have just as fun as the time with their children. Uh, you know, he used to sit on a park bench and watch his, his girls ride the merry-go-round. And he had the vision one day of figuring out a nice, safe, friendly environment that parents could bring their kids to and have the same equal amount of fun as the kids were having together. And hence, Disney Lamb was born, thankfully. Julie, Disney magic is like no other. I totally agree. It's an amazing thing. Lisa, is there construction from the building of the gondolas that block the walkway to the art of animation? No, the... Uh, the uh, bridge has always remained open. We'll take a look just to confirm that today. Unless they close it for some odd reason on a daily basis or a you know time-to-time -time basis, it has remained open. In fact, we're walking up on it right now. We'll take a quick look at it while we're here. I do the uh, Skyliner updates as well. Unfortunately, I can't do live updates. Um because it's so spread out. I have to go to different resorts and different parks, and it takes forever. There's no way I could really do that in a live video. It would literally take all day. So that's that's pretty much one of the videos that I have to do as a, as a vlog style. Wow, this is looking amazing right now. This is really incredible. This was just foundation for so long, and now it's, it's completely sprung up. And you can see... Uh, they do have one of the towers finally going up right in the center of the lake here as you come out. And they're going to have, I believe, two, maybe three more towers out in the lake. This is called Hourglass Lake. And it does separate the Art of Animation, which is right across here, to uh, uh, Pop Century. Very cool. You can see where the, uh, the towers come directly in. I don't want to get too much in the Skyliner because uh, we'll definitely do an update video. But basically, you're coming in from the Caribbean Beach um, into Pop Century and the Art of Animation. Uh, you'd come into this load zone area here. Uh, just to give you a quick, a quick version of what happens, is there's a cable with a gondola, and the gondola has a clamp on the cable. So it's holding on to the cable as it's coming through at a certain speed, which is uh, going to be a fairly quick speed. And as it comes into the station, you can see there's uh, these little red markers there. And what happens is when it enters the station, it releases that clamp from the cable. So the gondola is then free-floating. Sorry, I had a uh, cart coming behind me, so it's a little loud. And then the gondola comes, and it's, and it's taken by the wheels. You see all these wheels inside, and that, and that slows the gondola down so you can load and unload guests. And there's actually two different wheels maybe even three for some hubs, <clears throat> you have the, uh, the front where your normal load zones would be. So you're loading guests on and off as they're coming around. And then you have a back hub, which is where your, your scooters and your wheelchair guests would board. So they're two different places in case it has to stop or slow down. So once you load, you make your circle. Uh, you come back out with the wheels, again, at a slower pace. And the cable is always moving at the same pace. So once you're coming back out, the wheels will bring you back, and then all of a sudden it will reclamp onto the cable, and boom, you're moving at a faster speed out onto the cable system again. Really cool, really efficient, uh, really learning a lot with the gondola system. Um, just very cool. But we'll get into that in another video. Uh, I'm just starting to get that video together again. It does take me sometimes a couple days to do because it has a lot of traveling. But that'll give you a general idea. 
So let's uh, move on. You guys asked about the bridge. Uh, let me try to scroll through some of these others here. Rebecca, thank you for joining uh, your favorite resort, home away from home. Thanks for the reminder, no problem. Here's the uh, bridge, and this is real simple, just a nice little quick walk across to uh, the Art of Animation. Beautiful lake, beautiful hourglass lake, very large. And of course, the amazing Skyliner right there. I think it's going to be incredible once this thing is up and running. Uh, I think it's just going to be amazing and a lot of fun. Gareth, I uh, love my videos, especially the Caribbean Beach updates. Thank you so much. I, I do appreciate that. I really love the, uh, the kind words that you guys always have and the support that you show. Uh, that's why I love coming here and talking to you guys one-on-one -on -one and live and sharing everything. Uh, it really makes me feel good when I hear that it's helping and that you guys are definitely getting some value out of it. So I appreciate that. Thank you for the feedback. Aaron, uh, did they finish painting all the icons? Yeah, all of the all of the work is pretty much done. I talked to management when I came in and asked if there's any major things I should be aware of. And they said, uh, pretty much not. All the rooms are done. Most of the major renovations are done. They're just dealing with uh, the Skyliner issue there in the middle. Caroline, haven't been since uh, 2010. Well, I definitely think it's time for you to come back. Hopefully this will inspire you to uh, come and have a great time. So right now we are behind the 60s, and we're going to head over into the 70s. Have the uh, bicentennial. Of course, uh, 1976 was a bicentennial, so that's why they have that up there. Marianne just left here on Sunday. Ah. Uh, I know that's a difficult thing to do. I always hated leaving. That's why I finally decided to move down here with the family. Couldn't take leaving anymore. Okay, so let's find our way into the 70s. Have the 70s building 6 through 7 right here. And I think this is our main area. Or is this the outer area? I think this is the outer area. We're going to go through the, seven, or through the center. You have the eight track tapes right here. Very cool. Er, let me see where I'm at here. I don't want to get too confused and not go through the correct area. See, sometimes I learn with you guys. I walk through these resorts a lot, but sometimes you can't remember every single thing about them. And I probably am going in the wrong direction here. Maybe not. Still got the mood rings. We're still in the 70s. Okay, I see a little, little spot where we're supposed to be. We're going to do a little cut through here. These are laid out very easy, so, you know, even though you may not be going in the exact correct direction, you can always find your way to the center. So we're going to go behind some of the rooms here. We're going to head to the uh, center court of the 70s. 70s is the only decade that does not have their own pool. Probably because it's so close to the 60s, they figure that uh, they can just sort of share. It's literally just a hop, skip, and a jump. Maybe that's more of a 50s statement, hop, skip, and a jump, than the 70s. Jamie, uh, staring at, staying at the Caribbean Beach, and it's your mom's birthday of the week that uh, you are there. Well, happy uh, happy birthday when it does happen. Send her my best. I hope you guys have a great time. All right, look at where we're at now. So here, oh, geez, look at that huge, huge, huge Mickey Mouse phone. <laughs> we are in the 70s. There is the big wheel, the foosball table. Still have a foosball table in my parents' basement. 
It's one of my favorite things growing up. I always loved playing that. Had an awesome pinball machine and an awesome foosball table. Got the giant big wheel here. I mean, these things are huge. Just imagine if these things were actually moving. This thing could kick you halfway across pop property. You're actually the size of the foosball. And there he is right now. The man himself, Mickey Mouse. Jimmy Genie, we're all big kids. And we also need some fun. Absolutely, I totally agree. The size of this big wheel. This is Godzilla's big wheel. Love it. I hear my name. Where's it at? Up, up, up. Hey, it's Ryan. It's my buddy Ryan. How are you? You guys having a good time? Yeah. Yeah? Congratulations. Ryan and Shannon uh, were just recently married a couple weeks ago, and now they're here on their honeymoon. Awesome. You going to be here for a little bit? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'll be done, uh, be done in a little bit. I just have the 80s and 90s to do, and then we'll catch up. Cool. Good to see you, man. So they always check out the live feeds, so definitely uh, wish Ryan and Shannon congratulations on their recently getting married. They're having a great stay, great honeymoon. They were at uh, Universal Resort for a couple days, and they just arrived here at Pop Century last night. So really cool people. Can't wait to uh, catch up with them. So what else do we have here? Cool little twister board over here. If you really want to have some fun. Come out here after visiting the uh, Pedals Lounge. <laughs> the Pedals Pool Bar. After a couple and uh, try your hand at some twister. Definitely take some video of that because I think it would be hilarious and I would love to see it. Sorry, I'm really falling behind in my comments here, guys. Sorry. Aaron uh, was there in March and didn't have all of that done on the Skyline. I know. They, they've really been pushing hard on the Skyliner. Really impressive with the work that they've done. So we are leaving the 70s. Of course, we got all these cool 8-track tapes on the sides. All the end caps are based on the, the different decades. Platform shoes and mood rings. Very cool. I was born in the 70s, so it's kind of nostalgic for me. But the 80s, 80s is where my forte is. I love the 80s. That's really where I, uh, you know, spent my teenage years and all those good years. So here we go, into the 80s. Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head, of course. Julie, uh, when is my next Coronado Springs construction update? Uh, I will probably hit Coronado Springs, maybe try to do it next week. Um, I usually try to give at least three weeks, uh, sometimes a month in between them, just so we can let some progress happen. You know, I don't want to go there every couple days or every week because there's not enough changes to uh, make it worth doing that. So I'm going to plan on probably next week. I'll, I'll probably swing by uh, Caribbean Beach as well. Kind of check out the progress over there. Got these awesome end caps here. The Rubik's Cube. Nice pool area in here. The 80s and 90s kind of share a central area. They share the pool. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. Jess, welcome. Uh, be there in 21 days. First timers. You're going to love it. Great great resort to stay at. See uh, the Pac-Man ghosts. Break dancing. Got the Walkman up here. I love the 80s. Sandra, glad to hear they take scooters. Absolutely. Of course, uh, Disney is very respectable to uh, people with uh, special needs. Scooters, wheelchairs. Uh, they all of their transportation is well equipped to to help people with those needs. So the Skyliner is absolutely going to be equipped to help those people as well. Everyone deserves to have the same equal amount of fun here. So, all right. So right across the way here is the '90s. Like I said, this is sort of a shared area. So you have the giant Walkman. Have Roger Rabbit over here. 
course, a huge 80s film. And right here we have the computer keyboard screen, or the computer keyboard that leads you right up to the laptop. Big deal in the 90s. That's when the computer age started uh, really kicking in. The internet, all that just sort of changed the world. And now we can do things like this to where we can share all this information and share all these amazing times. And here is the uh, computer pool. Floppy disks. Try to run through some more comments here. Jamie, uh, we love Pop. This is uh, going to be wonderful. I uh, hope it means no more long waits. Nights to get back home. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, Skyliner is definitely going to take a lot of the, the burden off of just using the bus transportation to get back and forth. That's the idea. Is uh, Disney is trying to lessen the burden on transportation. They know, you know, these long lines and it's hot. And they're trying to make the guest experience so much better for everybody. Got some Pointer Sisters playing in the background here. Julie, what is my favorite section to stay in? I've, I'm a child of the 80s. Absolutely, I love the 80s. The 50s, I think overall the 50s, I think has the cool look. I love the, uh, the bowling pin pool. But... I'm a child of the 80s at heart, so. So the 90s here, we have the compact discs, of course, and roller blades. <laughs> Some really great stuff happening in the 90s. And I think our end caps are actually cell phones. We'll go check that out real quick. got over here was I right I see an antenna up there <laughs> so we got the end cap as a cell phone also a big deal in the 90s communication information all that stuff it all happened during the 90s so all right let me swing through some more of these uh, comments uh, Margie am I going to be on tomorrow absolutely I'll be on 1130 tomorrow as well any ideas that you guys might have just let me know I'll try to get to them for you Jimmy Genie, uh, watching your videos helps me feel like you're that you're here when you can't physically be here. Total agreement with me. Uh, the Genie part wants to move there tomorrow. Well, sometimes you just got to do it. We just decided one day, you know, our thought was, ah, we'll move down there when we're older. You know, we'll retire or whatever. And then we thought, why do that? This is life. This is what we love. And this is where we love being. So just made it happen. We had great jobs and everything. We just decided this is what we're going to do. So we left everything, moved down here, and it was a great decision. We love it down here. Been down here four years. If you guys really are looking at the move, you can always contact me directly. Uh, email rob at passporttotheparks.com. And I would be happy to help you with any questions that you have, any information that you might need about moving down here. Hey, Shannon's on board here. Yes, I am still here. I just talked to your new husband. And uh, we're going to meet up here after I'm done. Congratulations again. Uh, Vanessa, thank you so much for being here. Can't wait to be there in December. That's awesome. You're going to have such a great time. All right, everybody's wishing congratulations. Awesome. Congratulations, Shannon and Ryan. They were painting the big wheel on September the 6th, says Sandra. So they got it all done. Everything's all up to date. I'm trying to find a quick shortcut back here. I think we'll just keep uh, keep making our way around this way. Give you guys an interesting view. You don't want to look at the parking lot, I'm sure, when we're going through. Let's see, more congratulations for Shannon and Ryan. That's awesome. Jamie, we ordered a motorized scooter for my uncle for when we are there in four weeks. It's great. You're going to have just a, an easy time. Transportation is easy. Getting on and off of the rides is easy. You know, they really make it uh, 
easy for people to enjoy themselves with the scooters. Marie, thank you so much for joining. Kevin, uh, here in 398 days. So excited. It's now under 400. That's awesome. Your countdown is going to be less than a year soon enough. You will get here quickly. Don't worry. So here we go. We are here in the 80s and 90s. We're right here. So we're just going to basically kind of make our way around the 70s. I'll show you the playground real quick. And then we'll head back towards Classic Hall. Marie, this is where you're going, God willing. I hope that uh, you guys do make it. Great resort to stay at. You're going to have an amazing time. I just know it. We won't cut through the back of the rooms here. We'll give you a, another view of the 70s as we walk through. They just laid some fresh mulch. So if you guys know that pleasant smell, they do try to keep the grounds as neat and as beautiful as possible, especially with the landscaping. And that does include fresh mulch sometimes. So you do have to deal with some of those issues. But it's still amazing. All right, let's see. Kimberly, uh, be at the movies in 17 days. Another fun resort, another great resort. Hey, Shannon, how are you? <laughs> That's the other half to the Ryan and Shannon right there. Everybody's telling you guys congratulations. <laughs> we'll meet up in a few. Are you going to take my picture? We're going to Classic Hall to get food. Okay, I'll meet you guys down there. Sounds good. Cool. Best thing about Disney and living here is that eventually people come here. It's probably the most popular vacation spot in all of the world. So eventually people get down here and we get to share some awesome times with friends, with family, and just people that I love meeting, talking to, all my new friends that I meet during these live streams. I really love it when you guys come up and you say hi. We can share some stories and just have some fun. Got a cool little uh, 60 spot up here with the goofy surf ah, goofy surfboard and this sweet little stingray corvette we'll get up here in a second check this out Margaret, only 17 days till you are here. I can't wait. I can't wait till you get here as well. You're going to love it. Check that out. I'd love to drive that Stingray home. Okay, I did promise you guys the playground. Let me give you one quick look here. Then we'll head up to Classic Hall. And I'll try to answer as many questions as I can along the way. See the playground right around the corner here. Most of the Disney resorts do try to provide a playground area for the kids and, of course, the adults. You can have fun watching the kids. It's the best part. I bring uh, my daughter to a lot of the different resorts just to play. You know, we'll grab something to eat and then we'll just play on the playground area have some fun here we go nice little slide area some climbing things not too over the top but just uh just perfect for the little kids and that's located between the 80s and the 70s good morning 
Hey, Reggie. Thank you so much for being here. I am well. Thank you for asking. I hope you are well, too. Carol, was Pops uh, remodel mostly just rooms? Or were there other changes since the two years you've stayed there? Not major changes. Uh, they did, like, painting update, just uh, refreshing a lot of the areas just to make them, you know, more vibrant and pop. Get it? They did paint the... Uh, the pop signs out front, nice and bright, but mainly it was the, the room renovations. They are doing that all over property, uh, Caribbean Beach, uh, Coronado Springs, um, some of the All-Stars, Pop, uh, they're just all doing these, these renovations just to keep up with the times and make sure that things are as modern as possible. Julie, uh, hi Rob, when is your next Coronado Springs update? Uh, probably next week, I'll head over there. I'll try to get Coronado and uh, Caribbean Beach done. I know those are important to you guys, so I'll definitely keep up on those. All right guys, so I did work up a little bit of a sweat walking around here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. We're back at Classic Hall now. Um, as always, I love talking to you guys. I love when you're here. I love sharing this with you. Definitely check out PassportToTheParks.com. You can definitely find all kinds of cool videos, pictures, updates, all that stuff. I always appreciate when you go there. Uh, head over to YouTube. Sorry, I'm just a little out of breath this morning from walking around. Head over to YouTube. Uh, subscribe there. Leave some likes, some comments. That helps a lot to support everything that I do and bring this to you guys. Uh, and also check out LivingWithTheMagic.com, Living With The Magic Vacations. If you are planning a vacation down here, they can always help you with your vacation needs. Got some really great deals coming up in December. Oh, the arcade. Terry, thank you so much for uh, for mentioning that. Let me turn you around again. We will show this arcade. See, I would have left here without even doing that. Thank you so much, Terry. Because it is a really sweet arcade. And I've talked about this before. But they actually, uh, the arcade is based on all the different decades as well. So it's the Fast Forward Arcade. And they have all these games, and it's huge. Look how big this thing is. They have all the games from the different eras. So Miss Pac-Man, Galaga, Defender, a Giant Space Invaders, all kinds of cool pinball machines. So you got stuff from, you know, the 80s, the 70s. The 90s but this is a very very large arcade in here a lot of fun We've got the uh, this is you know from carnival from the 50s and 60s We've got your racer games all kinds of cycle games it just keeps going all back here more pac-man very big 70s and 80s basketball games back here so this is probably uh, probably three times the size of most of the arcades in the different resorts so I really love it through here let's check out the other side here real quick So there you go. Definitely worth going through. Emma, you're so welcome. I really love doing this for you guys. Chris, you're going to be here on February 24th. That is awesome. You're going to love it here, I promise. Reggie, uh, do I have any plans to visit the Disney neighbor hotels? I eventually will get all around. I'm trying just to get most of Disney done. I will hit Universal eventually, and I'll hit uh, some of the outlaying hotels as well. So I will definitely try to get as much as I can done for you guys. Hey, Nancy. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. I uh, hope you can go one day. Nancy is a uh, California area, so she's, uh, she's a Disneyland girl. So I hope one day you can get down here to uh, Walt Disney World as well. 
I would love to get over to Disneyland myself. So I'm kind of uh, jealous of you. Jamie, uh, hopefully you can see, see me when you're here in four weeks. I hope you can too. That would be so awesome. Definitely say hi if you do see me here. I always love to uh, catch up with you guys and meet you guys. But uh, I think we did our full walkthrough today. And again, thank you so much for being here. Check out PassportToTheParks.com. Subscribe over on YouTube. And join me again tomorrow, definitely at 1130, for another awesome tour. Uh, also, Saturday morning, I'm going to be over at uh, Disney Springs. They're going to do the, the grand opening of the uh, New World of Disney Store. So I will put a little reminder out for you guys. Join me Saturday morning. I'll do a live walk through there, and we'll have a lot of fun doing that as well. Troy, uh, hey again from the Netherlands. Thank you so much for being here, Troy. I always appreciate it. Okay, guys, I'm going to go meet uh, Ryan and Shannon, talk to them. Haven't seen them in a long time. Congratulate them, and we will...